Good day everyone, this is Mary Rose Garcia, a secondary nursing student from Section 1 in Back. So for today's video, our procedure is the donning and duffing of PPE. So it is the process of putting on and putting off personal protective equipment. So for the assessment, we have to assess and ensure the sizes of the gowns and the gloves to be used. Also, assess the need for assistance of another healthcare professional. For the objectives, it is to provide proper protection to our healthcare workers in the event of exposure to highly contagious or uncommunicable diseases. So first, we have to identify and gather the proper PPE to don. This is to save time, effort, and energy. Then, perform hand hygiene to remove the bacteria, the dirt, and other pathogenic microorganisms. Mm -hmm. Next step is to put on isolation gown. Tie all ties and ask assistance from other healthcare personnel. Isolation gowns will reduce the risk of contamination during exposure to patients with communicable or contagious diseases. Put on mask or N95 mask. Make sure to secure it properly behind the ears. This protects the nose and mouth from splatter of body fluids before inhaling it. Put on face shield to provide full face coverage and excellent protection for eyes. Next is to put on gloves. Gloves should cover the calf or wrist of gown. This protects and guards the hands from touching anything that may cause disease or harm to one's health. Healthcare may now enter the patient's room. First is to remove the gloves. Ensure glove removal does not cause additional contamination of hands. Use the glove-in-glove -glove or bird technique to prevent the spread of pathogenic microorganisms. Next is to remove gown. Untie all ties or unsnap all buttons. Some gown ties can be broken rather than untied. Do so in gentle manner, avoiding a forceful movement. Reach up to the shoulders and carefully pull down gown and away from the body. So rolling the gown is an acceptable approach. Dispose in trash receptacle. So this prevents further spread of harmful pathogens. After that, perform hand hygiene to ensure the safety and clean hands prior to touching the facial part. Remove face shield or googles by carefully grabbing the strap and pulling upwards and away from the head. Do not touch the front of face shield or googles and dispose properly to the designated container. This prevents recontamination of clean hands. Remove and discard face mask. Do not touch the front of the face mask and dispose properly in the designated waste bin. This prevents the spread of harmful pathogens. And lastly, perform hand hygiene again to ensure the safety and clean hands.
So that would be the coverage of Danning and Duffing of our PPEs. Thank you and the blessings all.